Hey, welcome back. Last uh, video, you got an introduction to what to call each note on the piano. Now we're actually going to do an online sort of uh, game or quiz, if you will, to see if you remember what to call each of those notes. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna start a share screen here. You'll be able to see what I see in just a moment. Let me make sure to turn the sound on. There we go, all right, and let's go online. So there's a link to this keyboard trainer on your student web resources, whether you access it through Canvas or on our BAM website. So what this website does is it quizzes you on each little note on the piano, and all you have to do is click the, the letter name or the note name for the note that it's highlighting. So like we talked about last lesson, we know what to call these notes because of where the accidentals are placed. So look at the black keys there, there's a group of two, and we go down to the left and we call that C, all right? So that note right there that the mouse is on is C. Once you know where C is, you can just say your alphabet and figure out what all the other ones are. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. So this one goes from a C all the way up to an F at the top, okay? And then we know what to call the uh, accidentals or the black keys based on where they are in position to the natural notes, okay? So there's actually um, a little way to kind of help you on here and if you need it, if you're struggling with that, but I'm gonna see if I can do it without that at first, okay? So the, the first note it's highlighting here is the third note of this group of three right here. So what we have to do is figure out what this note is and then we can figure out what to call that note, so. Uh, there's a C right here. The letter right before C is B. So the note that my mouse is on right now is B. And then we talked about raising and lowering the pitch. Remember, we're going to lower it because it's going down and, and to the left. So this is going to be called B flat. Okay. Now the symbol for flat, th this is the correct answer right here. All right. The mouse is pointing to the correct answer. That's B flat. That lowercase B looking symbol is the, the symbol that we use for flat. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a secret code, right? That fancy looking lowercase b means flat. So I'm gonna click the right answer here. And look at that, it says I have one correct answer and I have 100% correct, so that's awesome. So this is gonna keep score for you. Um, don't worry if you accidentally click a couple of wrong answers, it'll let you know, but you know, there's, there's no penalty, all right? Uh, let's, let's keep going here. So. Oh, that's the first note we learned, that's a C. So you'll go down here and click a C, all right? What comes right before C? A, B, C, okay, it's B, all right? So go click B. So it's a very easy resource to do. Sometimes it gives you repeat answers. All right, there's a tricky one. So we know this one was C because we just answered that. If you go up in the alphabet, this should be D, and that's above D, so we went, down for flat, now we're going up, and if you remember, when we go up, we call it sharp, okay? So it's near D, it's going up, I could call it D sharp. The mouse is hovering over the right answer right now, that is D sharp there. The fancy little pound symbol, or the hashtag symbol, is uh, the symbol that we use for sharp. So I'm gonna click the right answer right there, and look at that, we haven't missed any yet. All right, the very tippy top notes, C, D, E, F, okay? And look, they're, they're in order on here too, right? I started at C and I counted my way up to F, okay? Uh, that one, let's see, this was an F up here. All the way down here is also an F, and that's above it. So think to yourself for a second, if it's above F, what's the right answer? F sharp, all right? There you go. And remember, it could have two different names. Let's do the other name for this. Before we called this a B flat, let's call it something else. Instead of calling it a B something, let's call it an A something. What's it gonna be? A sharp, all right? So there you go. Now, I want you, I wanna show you two things here. If you're having trouble on this, look at where the mouse is right here. It says toggle helpers. If you click the button right next to that, it will label the white keys on here for you, all right? So it will give you labels if you need that. Try not to use that. I challenge you not to use that, okay? But if you need it, go ahead. Um, so that'll label those notes there, and then you just gotta figure out, is it sharp or is it flat? 
So if I wanted to call that note that's highlighted flat, I could say it's D flat, all right? So this should go a lot quicker. That's an F, because it says so, that's an F. All right, we called that um, E flat last time. Let's call it something else this time. So down here, I could call it D sharp, okay? Very simple exercise. Uh, your goal is to get 25 correct answers, all right? 25 correct answers. It's okay if you miss some. I just need the number right here where it says correct to be 25, all right? Your challenge is to not use the toggle helpers and to not miss uh, questions, all right? Try to get a good percent. If you wanna refresh it so you have the bragging rights of having 100%, good for you. But good luck on this and uh, here's another hint. Notice how the flat up here, all these different flat notes, Notice how they're also grouped in groups of three and groups of two, just like the keys up here. That's some big brain thinking right there. You can just look at that and see how it lines up. Same thing with the sharps down here. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty easy stuff once you start to see the pattern. All right, good luck on your challenge. You're going for 25 correct answers. And uh, after you're done, make sure to take a screenshot. On my computer to do that, you hold down the Windows key and you press a button um, called print screen, which is next to the delete button, all right? That's how you do it on my computer. It might be different on your computer. You might need to Google how to take a screenshot, but good luck and I'll see you next time.